Shalom, one of the most mysterious sinners we ever got. The mastermind behind everything, the one who ruined our mission in Rust, fire leading to a gigantic civil war, plunging the MBCC into total chaos. Shalom, codename Hush X, 7th generation of Hush. Leading the Paradesos Special Unit, a unit dedicated to all those who oppose Paradesos. They make others disappear. The reason why Chief is in a coma, the reason you are in a coma. Why? Just why would she do this? What drove her to betray Paradesos? Why did she commit war crimes and why should you save her at all costs? She seeks salvation, for this is Shalom and she needs you, Chief. Shalom's evolution into the stoic, dark and calculating operative she is today stands in stark contrast to the spirited, rebellious child she once was. In her youth, Shalom was a force to be reckoned with, a spirited rebel who fiercely resisted the clutches of these evil scientists and researchers. With shouts, kicks and punches, she fought for her freedom, making a name for herself as the most formidable among the test subjects. However, the tale takes a very dark turn, unveiling a sinister transformation from a vibrant child to the emotionless instrument of Padresos we see nowadays. The root of Shalom's transformation lies in a chilling truth. They forcibly stripped away her emotions, her very essence. She became a casualty of their monstrous experiments, a mere pawn akin to Hecate. They robbed her of the ability to experience pain, happiness, love and desire, fundamental human emotions we often take for granted. The sheer evilness of this act angers me. I really want Chief to just unleash Nox and destroy these monsters. Seriously, please send Nox after them. From the vibrant child she once was, they molded Shalom into a monstrous being, a slave to orders, devoid of emotions that define humanity. The very core of her being was banished to the dark realm where mania reigns, corrupting her feelings into an abomination labeled as rebel. Up until she met you, Chief, she was wandering aimlessly with no goal in mind. But the day she first saw you, Chief, everything changed. The day you met her, when you were interrogated, you unleashed shackles upon her, freeing her soul from the abyss. From the cold, dark world surrounded by mania, you were not in the right mind. Before you lost your memories, Chief, you were a beast, a wild animal who refused to abide by the rules. Always rebelling, always fighting, difficult to control, difficult to handle, and Shalom saw her little self in you. You were the spitting image of her. The entire meeting between the two of you was so shocking she had to retreat to her car to regain her sanity and control her emotions in front of Shorl. Breathing heavily, her face was blushing red, her cheeks were as red as tomatoes, her heart was pounding like never before. These emotions these feelings were something she had never experienced before. Her hands shaking and sweating, the only thing on her mind was to bury her head into a big pillow, but she couldn't, because Pardesos was watching. Pardesos was monitoring her every move, so with a deep breath she regained her composure. A lot has changed since then. Now she finally got a glimpse of herself. This shouldn't be a secret by now. If it wasn't already obvious, the one she desires, the one she sought after is nobody else than you, Chief. The Rizzler, the charismatic Chief. Be it the past rebellious Chief, or the in coma sleeping Chief, the confused, newly awakened Chief, no matter what version of you, they just can't keep their eyes off you. Mesmerizing, captivating, bewitching. Like Rahu and the other sinners, she also fell for you catching feelings left and right. Unlike others though, she's very upfront about her desires, at least when it comes to physical touch. You know it's bad when the first thing she does after seeing you is push you towards the nearest bed, towering over you and holding you hostage in close range. Shalom is very down bad. In the soft glow of the moonlight, Chief and Shalom found themselves enveloped in the warmth of their shared intimacy. The room seemed to pulse with the rhythm of their heartbeats as they leaned on the bed, hands temporarily reaching out for one another. Fingers intertwined, a delicate dance unfolded, each touch sending ripples of sensation through their body. The air was thick with anticipation as they explored the curves of each other's hands. 
fingers tracing the pathways of connection. Shalom's touch was gentle, a whisper of reassurance, while Chief's response carried the weight of unspoken emotions. Their eyes met, a silent conversation passing between them, and a shared smile blossomed. The bed became a sanctuary where vulnerability transformed into strength, and the simple act of hand-holding became a profound expression of love. In that quiet moment, the world outside seemed to exist, leaving only the tender embrace of two souls intervening on a journey of shared affection. That's how Shalom felt. This might have been the most precious memory Shalom has ever gotten, a treasure that will guide her along the treacherous path of no return, to fight against evil, to save her life, and most importantly, to save your life, Chief. This memory, a um, guiding light to remind her why she needs to succeed. If she ever wants to experience Chief's tender fingers again, she has to act now. She knows the dark side of Pardesos, the evil forces sought not only her demise, but also the Chief's demise. And Shalom can't let that happen at all costs, because Shalom loves Chief. To save you, Chief, and to save her own life, she devised the most devious, dangerous plan ever in this city. The plan to cause massive havoc that would ruin the plans of Pardesos. They aren't an easy opponent, and she knows. With every brain cell, with every second of her remaining life, she tried to come up with the scenarios that would lead to a better future. A future where she can be finally free and hold Chief's hand. Walking down the aisle, laughing, smiling together at the MBCC. To accomplish this, she has to do everything secretly and commit massive crimes while at it, leading Rust fire into total chaos as Hush X, sending her beloved chief into a coma and thus sending sinners at MBCC into despair, start a massive revolution and thus cause a civil war between East and West. To do the most unthinkable, she knows she might never be forgiven by you, she knows what she did is not right, but for her, your life was more precious than anybody else. If you manage to make it back alive, safe, it will be all worth it. Manipulating Donald, trying to also manipulate Garden, it was simple. The end goal was to remove the rules from Chief. That was Shalom's secret plan. Under the Pardesus orders, they had to locate you. Despite the rel relentless pursuit, Shalom, resolute in her allegiance to you, employed every conceivable tactic to thwart their mission, whether through calculated delays, purposeful misdirection, or issuing weird orders. However, once she finally discovered you, the scene was far from serene. It was not pretty. The sight of Chief lie motionless on the bed was a devastating blow, nearly shattering Shalom's composure. She almost broke down. The overwhelming surge of guilt, self-directed anger and a profound hatred for the circumstances threatened to engulf her. Yet, she steeled herself for the task at hand. Refusing to draw near, Shalom allowed herself one final connection. A touch to confirm the reality of the situation. The touch revealed a cold, motionless hand that stirred both despair and unyielding determination within her. In the face of adversity, adversity, she resolved to shield Chief from the clutches of Pardesos and the underground. Anticipating Donald's arrival as a beacon of help, beacon of rescue, Shalom orchestrated a decoy, enduring a calculated strike to the neck. This strategic act bought crucial time for Donald to save Chief from the nightmares nightmarish situation, marking a desperate yet valiant attempt to wrest both Chief and herself from the clutches of this harrowing ordeal. In the final moment, an overwhelming desire surged within her, a yearning to shout into the void, stay here with me, don't go away, don't leave me. Those were her true emotions, those were her true feelings, how she felt about Chief. She needs you. If I could reach my goal only at the cost of my life, what more could I ask for?
fighting ambassador flora reporting for duty Very hard on you, you poor thing. You've done well. I'll take it from here. And everything will be all right. Path to Nowhere is amazing, isn't it? It's so much fun. The twists and turns, the plot, the story, always keeping us in check. All we can do is guess, but what truly happens, who knows? Shalom is such an amazing sinner. Her lore, her backstory, her motivations, I can feel it. I still really managed to make me like a war criminal, to make Shalom really resonate with us. Chief, what are you waiting for? Go, Chief, go and save her right now. She's laying alone inside the test tube, lying alone there, surrounded by darkness, waiting for a charming prince, charming princess to save her. Go, Chief. There's one day left. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. But before we end it here, I have one last wish. I implore you, appealing to the kindness within your heart, to the depths of your empathy. Show compassion while there's still a window of opportunity. Not only do you need to save Shalom from the darkness which envelops her, but you also need to urgently save Coco. Kokolik, the world out there is dark, and if you miss this chance, there might never be a second time. Coco is the sweetest person out there. She acts spoiled on the outside, but the reason is because she's been secretly fighting for the freedom of her little flowers. She's exhausted, tired from all the fighting, day and night looking over, guarding her flowers. Evil people are after her, and it's such a tragic story that transcends the fourth wall. Just because she dresses unconventionally or doesn't play by the rules like a sheep, they hunt her down. Chief, I believe you can do it. Before the shadows tighten their grip, her fate is in your hands. Until next time, Chief, Autumn signing off.